In our morning rounds, outrage over the latest move toward designer babies. For the first time, Chinese scientists use new technology to alter DNA in human embryos. The experiment could eventually help change genetic code for generations. As developments in science, they are giving new fuel to the endless quest for immortality. And now billionaires are jumping in on the action. According to this latest Newsweek cover story, they're investing millions in research organizations and pharmaceutical groups to stop and extend the aging process. This is just fascinating to me, Betsy. Um, and, and so one of the founders of Google, Sergey Brin, it, you talked to him about this, spending lots of money trying to figure out the, the key, the fountain to youth, everlasting youth. Um, how plausible is this? So I think it's very plausible that we are going to start living for much longer. There are a lot, have been a lot of advances very recently that may cause us to be able to live for much, much longer than we currently do. There have been plenty of advances that are really exciting because maybe we could live to 120, maybe we could live to 200 years. So let me ask you this, though. what is Google doing specifically to try to find this fountain of youth? So Google has been fairly secretive. They're running a initiative called Project Calico that has a mission statement that basically says we want to try and cure death. Mm -hmm. but. They have not been very public about what they're doing. There's rumors that they're doing some research on a gene called FOX03, which is connected to long life. Okay. But there have been a lot of tech billionaires like Larry Ellison, who founded Oracle, and sorry, who was CEO of Oracle, and um, Peter Thiel, co-founder of PayPal, Dmitry Itzkov, who is a Russian internet billionaire. A lot of billionaires investing money. A Russian scientist thinks that the secret of external life may have actually been found. Well, deep in the permafrost of Siberia, a living bacteria was discovered that is old, actually very old indeed. It's trapped inside of the ice. We found a living scene. We can bring it back to life. If we can find the mechanism how that bacteria stays alive, Brochkov, who discovered the bacteria, decided to become the first human guinea pig himself, and he's actually already injected himself. Um, I started to work longer. I never had a flu for the last two years, so it still needs the experiments. You see, we have to find uh, first the mechanism how that bacteria uh, prevents aging. Humans have been messing with genetics for thousands of years. Through breeding different types of plants and animals, We've created useful traits in them. We do that by breeding the DNA we want. DNA is a set of instructions that controls how the organism develops and what traits it has. By changing the DNA, we change the organism that carries it. A new system called CRISPR could be used to change the DNA of any organisms, including humans. Eradicating diseases, longer lifespans, designer babies seem like crazy science fiction, but with CRISPR, these ideas could actually be possible. So what is Did you just feel the world get spookier? Oh, it's because 23andMe just got a patent on designer babies. Yeah. <laughs>
Google versus death. Well, that was the cover of Time magazine some two years ago. Now, with this summer's formation of Google's new conglomeration, Alphabet, possibly the most ambitious company in the world, we're starting to get a little insight into the California Life Company, or Calico, which is one of Alphabet's nine subsidiaries, and some details on how this quite secretive company is looking to cheat death. One thing we know about Google, it's that the company likes taking on big challenges, self-driving cars to reduce traffic accident, Wi-Fi equipped weather balloons to bring internet access to the third world. So how about ending death? Wednesday, Google CEO Larry Page announced the formation of Calico, a health and well-being company whose ultimate goal is overcoming human aging and mortality. Page wrote, these issues affect us all, from the decreased mobility and mental agility that comes with age, to life-threatening diseases that exact a terrible physical and emotional toll on individuals and families. Calico. We call this gene editing, and we can use it to disable or repair a mutated part of the gene, which may be causing disease. For Cas9 to find the malfunctioning DNA, we attach it to an RNA sequence that matches the DNA sequence we want to edit. Then we put this RNA-Cas9 combination into the cell. It finds the mutant DNA and uses a chemical reaction to cut the DNA strand right at the spot where it's malfunctioning. After that, we can sometimes insert the correct version of the gene for the cell to work properly again. It's a very, a very exciting technology that's going to do a lot of good in human society.